All right, you guys, we bring it back the who to the channel. All right, so it's been a while. I can't remember the last time we actually reacted to the who, but we got Eminence front this time on the ones and twos, man. So shout out to everybody requesting that. I mean, I've been throughout some of the reactions. I've been kind of seeing this being one of the uh, ones that people was requesting. So um, we gonna jump on it, man. So man, I uh, see y'all at the end of the video, man. Please hit the like button and subscribe if uh, you're new to the channel. All right, let's get it. The drums really do got some thump on that though. Like that build up almost kind of reminded me of like the Street Fighter 2 intro. <laughs> Go on here with that bass. I think that's a bass. Nah, that's not a bass. I do hear a bass, but it's not the one I'm listening to in the left ear. I really like that. I really like that. Yeah, dude, we already more than halfway through. So a lot of this song is just groove. It's just uh, it got the song has a lot of bounce, has a lot of good energy in it. Um, I was really trying to dissect why the kid was playing the video game back there. It kind of made me think. Since uh, arcades were like very popular back in the 80s and stuff like that, like. The, the some of some of the sounds in the song um definitely remind me of uh arcade you know what i'm saying but it definitely does have that smooth groove where you could just kind of just vibe with the song and not necessarily hear the lyrics either <laughs> i but it's songs like this that make me uh really get into really get into groups like that you know what i'm saying like 
you know, because I think a lot of the times with these groups, man, presentation was very important. Um, and for a five minute song, like I just can't believe we are already halfway through. I really thought we was still in the opening two minutes of the track. Yeah, this it's got soul like disco funk, you know what I mean? So I, you know, I, I like this. I like this so far. Let's go. I wonder what year this was. 1982. Dang, that's kind of crazy. 1982? For those of you who are older than me, let me think about the movies I've watched. Yeah, I, I, okay. The timeline makes sense. I, I, I thought arcades were more of like a late 80s thing, but all right. I swear, like, it just does remind me of an arcade game. Woo! Bro, this is like masculine disco, okay? <laughs> this, this is what it feels like to me. It, it does give you kind of like a masculine, like, uh energy like to it like when i listen to it like it's you know because i think there was a lot of backlash with in disco with men you know back in that time uh i know people who probably enjoyed disco for what it was but a lot of the backdrop after disco was hardcore punk hardcore rock and stuff like that that was his response because i guess a lot of people maybe felt like that music was a little too soft so but this right here, this sounds like disco for men. Yeah. Won't you come and join the party dress to kill? Dress to kill. Yeah, this is all grooves. The Oh, wow. I was definitely a toe tapper. You know, I don't know what we, what he said. All I heard was imminent front. That's all I heard. You know, uh, but I definitely enjoyed this song, man. I can picture this song being played in a lot of bars on repeat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, put on that imminent front. Flick him that nickel. Be like, yo, put that on. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's get busy tonight. <laughs> I can picture guys like getting ready. You know what I'm saying? Greasing their hair. You know what I'm saying? Getting their beard right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we about to go out and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I definitely give this song like an eight. You know, just for it being a toe tap and having that rhythm and that groove and that bass and just just those classic disco sounds that you hear. Um, but yeah, it, it, and it's probably got a hint of blues attached to it as well. Um, but with that being said, let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below, man. What does song? What does a song like this mean to you? By the way, you know what I'm saying. And uh, please su consider supporting the channel. We still on the way to 100k. We are 10 uh, T minus 12,000 to go. Okay, so please support your boy so we can reach those numbers. Um, so I can get that plaque right. So. Uh, but yeah, I will catch you guys at another one, okay?